what is Hadoop? So Apache Hadoop is a software library. Apache uh, Hadoop software library is a framework that allows for distributed processing of large data sets across the cluster of computers using a simple programming model. Uh, you know, the simpler way to put it is in the most simplistic terms, Hadoop is a framework that facilitates functioning of several machines together to achieve the goal of analyzing large sets of data. In the most layman terms, it's some magic where machines are working together to achieve your goal. So Google, now there's a slight history to it. So Google was really, uh, you know, the, the amount of data that Google had, they were really hitting the limit and they wanted some way to, you know, manage this whole thing. So they created a distributed framework inside Google. Now Google did not open source that, but they gave the knowledge to the community through white papers. So they published two white papers and they explained how, how Google is handling so much of data. Once the white papers were released, uh, a gentleman called Doug Cutting saw the uh, what you call white paper and he decided to develop something similar in the open source community. So that's where Hadoop really started. So while Doug Cutting was developing the whole thing, Yahoo got interested in the project and Yahoo recruited Doug Cutting and they gave him a team to develop uh, Hadoop. And after a couple of years when Yahoo was running Hadoop in production, they made Yahoo open source to the community. So for Hadoop, uh, you know, a big applause for actually we should be applauding uh, Yahoo because they took this brave step of uh, open sourcing Hadoop and you know letting it uh, in the hands of everyone. By the way, there's an interesting story that so when Doug Cutting completed the development of Hadoop, he wasn't really sure what name he would want to give. So his baby had a yellow color elephant and the baby would call that elephant as Hadoop. And that's how the name came, Hadoop. So the name has no meaning. It was short, sweet, and duck cutting liked it. But otherwise, yeah, there is typically no meaning to what Hadoop is. It's, it's what his baby uh, used to call his elephant, and you know that's how it is. So Hadoop consists of two core components. One is the HDFS, it's Hadoop Distributed File System, and the other one is MapReduce. So we'll talk about them in detail. So a set of machines running HDFS and MapReduce is known as Hadoop cluster. Individual machines are known as nodes and a cluster can have as less as one node and as big as several thousand nodes. I think the biggest cluster right now is with Cloudera with 4500 or 4400 node cluster. Now let's visualize what exactly is Hadoop. These are multiple machines that take your big data, what they provide you is processing plus storage. So this is the easiest way to visualize Hadoop. Multiple machines working together to provide you processing and storage services of data that is really, really huge. That's Hadoop for you. Now digging a bit deep, what you see is Hadoop has one master node and there are multiple slave nodes. Slave nodes can be like thousands of slave nodes. Now, on the side of you know uh, master, the guy who takes care of storage is called as name node and the guy who takes care of processing is called as job tracker. On the slave node, the guy who takes care of storage is called as data node and the guy who takes care of uh, processing is called as task tracker. So this is how Hadoop is you know structured. So if you carefully look when you are on your basically on a client, be it you know you have a Hadoop client or something, where when you give the data, so you'll be providing data and program. So the first data would move to Hadoop, and then your program will get executed. Let's let's look at it this way. So in step one, you will have all your data and you'll give it to uh, you'll you know pass it on to Hadoop. Uh, the data is passed to the name node, and then eventually gets passed to all the data nodes. So this is how your data is right now inside Hadoop. Then you give your program and you give your program to the job tracker, the guy who's taking care of processing. The job tracker will then schedule the program on all the data that is there on the local node and he'll give you the output. 
So what actually happens? Once you give data, let's say you have 640 MB of data, data is broken into input splits of 64 MB to 120 MB and the blocks are moved to different nodes. Once all the blocks are moved, the Hadoop framework passes the program to each node. Job Tracker then starts scheduling the programs on individual nodes. Once all the nodes are done, the output is written back. So this is how typically Hadoop works.